Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday! I am super excited to share with you a new recipe that you voted on. And this was a winner by a pretty narrow margin, so you never know. Maybe the other recipe will be coming up soon too. But this is my cranberry cheesecake parfait. So if you have any cranberry sauce left over from Thanksgiving, this is an amazing way to use it up without it feeling like you're just having more and more cranberry sauce. So we're going to take the cranberry sauce, transform it, and make this incredible cranberry cheesecake parfait. So we got to start off with the cranberry sauce. I have that sitting next to me. So whatever leftovers you have, feel free to use that. If you're using the canned stuff, awesome. If you made your own cranberry sauce this year like I did, fantastic it's actually super easy to make mine was about three cups of cranberries um, half a cup of orange juice half a cup of water and then instead of sugar I sweetened it with monk fruit sweetener which as you know is my favorite sweetener it helps to stabilize blood sugars it's zero calorie and everybody loved it like even my father-in-law Tom said oh my gosh I've never liked cranberry sauce before but your one is so good and like we had it for every meal even if we weren't having turkey so that's how good it was so we have our cranberry sauce. Now we're gonna move on to the cheesecake portion. So you can obviously grab any cheesecake recipe, but we're gonna healthify it today, which is my favorite thing to do with any recipe. How can we make it healthier so we can feel like we're indulging, but we're really not. We're really fueling our body and nourishing our body with lots of goodness. So for the cheesecake portion of this parfait, I am using just one little container of Greek yogurt. I love Greek yogurt because it is so high in protein. Oftentimes when we have sweet treats, we don't get enough protein. And the protein is what helps us to feel really full. So this is a great way to incorporate Greek yogurt into a dessert because it's super tangy, which is what I love about cheesecake. It's tangy and it's sweet. So in this case, to the Greek yogurt, we are gonna add two things to help with sweetness. One is, of course, more monk fruit sweetener. Yep, it's my favorite for a reason, and I have a big bag of it. So I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of the monk fruit sweetener right into my little glass bowl right here. And the other thing we're going to add in to help bring more and more cheesecakey flavor in is vanilla extract. So we're going to use about a teaspoon of vanilla extract because my Greek yogurt actually has no flavor at all. So it's just a plain 2% Greek yogurt. So we're adding that in there. Now we're gonna really jazz this up and make it super special. So as I mentioned, in my cranberry sauce, I use orange juice and orange zest actually, I forgot to mention that. So we're gonna do the same thing here today with our cheesecake layer. So I just have a little mandarin here and I have a microplane and all I'm going to do is zest the orange or the mandarin in this case because the zest itself, which is the colorful part of any citrus fruit, has so much flavor. It's so aromatic. It gives you that citrusy zest that you know we often get from any kind of orange-based dessert and I want to make sure that it's in here too. Normally for cheesecake, people would be using lemon juice in the actual cheesecake mixture, um, but we're going to use orange this time because orange pairs so, so well with cranberries, and so I'd love to make sure that we're incorporating it here in this recipe. In two places, really, in the cranberry sauce and also in this cheesecake layer. So if you're watching today, guys, let me know. Say hi in the comments so I can say hi back. All we're going to do now is mix this together. Super, super easy. It's just the Greek yogurt monk fruit sweetener, vanilla extract, and then the orange zest. So good. So as you can see, it's becoming nice and incorporated. It's pillowy and soft and creamy. Exactly what cheesecake should be. Hi, Emily, how are you? So glad to see you here today. I hope you had a great day. So we are making our cranberry cheesecake parfait and I am so excited for this. Yum, okay. So this is looking amazing. I mean, look at this. Hi, Tina, how are you? Tina is in Australia, which is why she's saying good morning. They just got up over there. Okay, this smells amazing. Oh, the orange zest, just that little bit of orange zest. For me, it was about half a teaspoon. Gives this so much delicious flavor. I love it. Okay, now because we're talking about cheesecake, we also need to have something like like the crust of the cheesecake, right? 
So you could take graham crackers, which is a really normal or traditional, I should say, um, cheesecake crust and just crumble them up. That would be amazing. But I actually didn't get any from the grocery store today. So I had to make my own. So I want to show you how I made a super simple graham cracker crust type crumble to put in our parfait, but it actually doesn't use any graham crackers. So in this bowl, as you can see, I've got this awesome little crumbly mixture here, and this is made using almond flour, two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener to give it that sweetness. We have one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now cinnamon is one of those spices that are used in graham crackers, and that's what makes it so delicious, in addition to vanilla. Now instead of just putting plain vanilla extract in here, what I actually did was I used vanilla protein powder. So once again, we're getting a hit of protein and healthy fats right in here, especially because the last ingredient that we add in is actually coconut oil. And all you do is you massage everything all together and it's gonna give you this amazing crumbly texture. It's so, so good and so easy to make and you can feel really good about having these particular crumbles in your dessert. Yum! Okay, now. We are ready to put together our parfait, which is basically just a layered dessert. So I have my pretty little cup here. First thing we're gonna do is put a layer of our crumbles in the very bottom. So I'm just using a spoon to put two teaspoons into the bottom of my little glass right here. Now we're gonna add in about half of our little cheesecake mixture. Oh. Emily just got home from work. Tina says, yum, that's a great idea. Thank you, Tina. And Emily says, you are so clever. Aw, thanks, Emily. Okay, so I'm roughly going to put about half of this mixture in. The only thing you have to do when making a parfait is especially if you want it to be pretty, you have to try not to get it onto the sides. Like you wanna make the layers as pretty as possible by putting it directly into the center, which is maybe the most difficult part of this whole recipe. Okay, let's try to get this going. I'm very nervous. I don't want to mess it up for you guys. Okay. Oh yeah. Now I realize you can't see it so let me lift it up just like that and I'm gonna like shake it a little bit so you can see the layers are starting to form. Ah so good. Now because we're using this kind of like faux crumble um, this kind of dessert is gonna be best made right before you're gonna eat it which it's not a bad thing because after I eat, after I make this, I'm definitely going to want to eat it straight away. Okay, so we've got this crumble layer, we've got the cheesecake layer, now we need the cranberry sauce layer. Okay, so here is, I mean I have a lot of cranberry sauce, right? <laughs> now we got to just put a couple of tablespoons right on top of our cheesecake layer. Oh, I just love the color of cranberry sauce, let me show you. I mean, look at that color, it's gorgeous! So, so good, okay. So I'm just putting that right into the center and then kind of moving it around a little bit to create the layer. So I'm putting about two tablespoons in here. Of course, you could use as much or as little as you want. But I'm just trying to make this look super pretty for you guys. Okay, let me know guys, how has your day been? What have you been doing? Okay, this is looking good so far. I mean, look at that. So good, now we're gonna repeat the layers, but I'm actually going to leave out the crumbles. So we're gonna go back to the cheesecake layer, or our little faux cheesecake layer with our Greek yogurt. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so good. And honestly, if you didn't have cranberry sauce, like for instance, if you wanted to make this at a different time of year, you could totally do that. So other great combinations, I love the combination of any kind of homemade jam or jelly. So I love to make um, homemade jams with any berries that are on sale at the grocery store. So usually like around this time of year, we have blackberries on sale or in the summer, strawberries will be on sale or even raspberries. And you can make a super simple homemade jam or jelly using any of these seasonal items like the berries that we talked about. Oh, I got a little bit on the side. I'll just have to wipe that off. Okay, bud, can you get me a towel, please? Dean's right here to the side. Emily says she was busy pampering people. Emily has such a fun job, um, just making everyone feel amazing. I mean, how great is that? Okay, so we've got this layer on. We need more cranberry sauce. And as you can see, you just continue to do these layers until you've filled up your cup or until you have 
put enough in there for one serving. Okay, one more spoonful. Oh, so good. I love it. Okay, I think we have one more layer in our ingredients. Oh yeah, you can see the layers forming. I love it. Okay, last one. We're gonna use the rest of our cheesecake layer. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna really make this special right on top. Okay, last one goes on. And, and for this case, for this very last layer, I'm gonna keep it kind of piled up in the middle to make it look super fancy. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Oh yeah. Okay, so that looks beautiful. I love it. I mean, do you wanna eat this with me? Cause I feel like you do. Okay, Tina says, looks amazing, off for a walk. Yes, have an amazing walk. Tina takes a walk every day, which I think is so healthy and amazing. Love it, okay. So we put this little layer of our remaining cheesecake on top. I'm gonna put just like a little dollop of our cranberry sauce right in the middle. And then we gotta scatter over more of our cheesecake crumbles. Yum! Just all over the top of this. Cause we wanna have that little crunch. We wanna have that change of texture in our dessert to, make, to help us keep coming back for more. <laughs> Emily said, can you send me some? Of course, I'll be right over with this one. I hope you're hungry. Okay, now let me show you. I mean, first of all, can we just take a minute? How pretty is that? Now, we are gonna really amp this up because I saved, oopsie, whoa, man overboard. I saved some of my cranberries, thanks Dean. What we're gonna do is actually take a little bit of water that I have here and just put a tiny little bit of water on these cranberries. And I'm gonna show you how to dust them in my monk fruit sweetener. So we just wanna roll them around in the water so they get a little bit damp because that's what the monk fruit sweetener is going to stick to. So I'm gonna take about Let's see, about half a tablespoon of my monk fruit sweetener onto this plate, and then we just roll, oh, this is so fun. We just roll the cranberries in it so that they get nice and dusted. I'm trying to show you a little bit. Can I see, mama? Dust it in the monk fruit sweetener. Yeah, bud. And that is it. This is what our final little topping is gonna be to, going to be to make this a super special dessert or for me an afternoon snack <laughs> ah i love this so much it's so festive it's so pretty this would be a fantastic thing to do like if you had a few people over like if you're able to have christmas dinner or something with a, with a few people that you love this would be such a fun little dessert and everyone could really make their own you could put out the little cheesecake layer you could put out whatever flavorings you wanted like we talked about cranberry we talked about berries what other things you could do is, you know, marmalades, anything like that would be great to layer in with this. And then everyone can make their own parfait. It would be so fun. Okay, do you like it, Dean? Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna put on these last little bits. Just hold on, bud. Last little bits, we're almost there, guys. This is so fun for me, obviously, I'm giddy. Okay, we're gonna put on a couple of our little mm. cranberries right on top. I mean, how cute is this? Mama, can we eat one of the cranberries? Mm, yeah, okay, can you see it? Look how they're like dusted. It looks like a little bit of snow right on top. <laughs> so pretty. And then if you really wanted to make life crazy in the kitchen, we're going to zest over a little bit more of this orange because we can. Ah, so fun, so good. And literally this was so easy to make with pretty much the leftovers that we had from Thanksgiving. So what's not to love about that? I wanna make sure that we use up all of these incredible flavors that we made during the holiday break, and this is a fantastic way to do it. Okay, that is it. We've got the little flecks of orange on top. I know this is difficult to see, but mm. little flecks of orange on top. It smells amazing. It looks beautiful. I mean, it has all the Christmas colors right there, so it's a fantastic dessert for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. And guys, it could not be easier. I love it. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'll be posting the recipe a little bit later. So good to hang out with you guys, and I will see you very, very soon. Have an amazing day, and talk to you later. Bye!